Which is the best backlink checker, Ahrefs or Majestic SEO? It's Ahrefs. How do I know this? Because I've just tested it. I studied 1 million domains to see which is the best backlink checker and Ahrefs won by a mile. If you want to see the results for yourself, then jump over to the main blog post now because in this video, I'm going to compare the on-site functionality of both tools. So, Let's begin by looking into how both tools show backlink growth over time for my blog. As you can see, Ahrefs has two super cool graphs for this, referring domains and referring pages over time. These go back all the way to 2013, which is when Ahrefs first started tracking the backlink progress of my blog. Here's what these graphs show me right off the bat. From 2013 to 2016, I was consistently attracting backlinks from new websites. However, things have kind of plateaued in recent years. There was also a spike of referring pages around December 2016, which went down almost immediately. And well, it's probably the result of a site-wide negative SEO attack or something like that. These graphs are also awesome for seeing how you stack up against competitors. If we look at the backlinks to Ahrefs own blog, and for that I'll need to put in ahrefs.com forward slash blog and choose a prefix mode, you can tell that they're killing it starting January 2017 with no signs of slowing down. Now, what about Majestic? Do they have the same graphs? Here I'm looking at my blog and I see a backlink history graph. And that shows me the number of external backlinks reviewed every day day. But it also clearly says non-cumulative view. So this graph doesn't show how many backlinks my website is acquiring over time. And it's not even an interactive graph like the one at Ahrefs. It's just a static image. This is the same with the referring domains graph. So it's not very useful at all. And other than that, the rest of the data and graphs here are more or less comparable with Ahrefs. Majestic also has their proprietary trust flow and citation flow graph that many people like using, including me, as an indicator of domain quality. But for now, let's compare the backlinks and referring domains reports. The first difference you'll notice between Majestic and Ahrefs is that Majestic no longer shows the total numbers that you see on the overview, whereas in Ahrefs are still visible. Majestic doesn't show these numbers because they generate these reports based on what they call a subset of top data. Try exporting some data and you'll see what I mean. You can only export a limited number of rows. You'll have to use the advanced report and jump through, well, quite a few hoops if you want access to the full data. So, since it's only a subset of top data, it doesn't really make much sense to play around with it. But let's see what kind of options I have anyway. Now, clicking on the column headers uh, does nothing. I can't sort the list of the backlinks by any of the parameters. Uh, well, there is a switch to show or hide deleted backlinks, which takes the results down from 97 pages to 87. And I can also switch between seeing one, three, or 10 backlinks for each referring domain. Now I can see how it's being able to see one or all are useful. I'm not really sure what the deal is with the three and 10 options there. And well, that's everything that you can do with the backlink support, which let's not forget is just a subset of top data. Majestic aren't even giving you the full picture. Now let's look at the backlinks report in Ahrefs. First things first, the numbers in this report perfectly matches the number on the overview. And unlike Majestic, Ahrefs will let you play with all of the data up front, not just a subset. You also have all kinds of sorting options and filters, and you can click on any column header and it will sort the entire list of backlinks by that parameter. I can also filter by link type, such as nofollow or dofollow, language, and the platforms present on the linking page. You can even search for certain words and phrases within the results. Then, you can easily export an already filtered list. 
but probably the most unique thing in Ahrefs backlink report is the audition of organic search traffic estimates for each referring page. This is super handy for finding top quality linking pages that may send consistent referral traffic. And one thing I really like about the backlinks report in Ahrefs is they not only show you the anchor text of the linking page, but also some surrounding text as well. This is a huge time saver because it means you don't have to visit the linking page to understand the context of a link. So now let's jump into the referring domains report in both tools too. The situation isn't much different here. Majestic only lets you see the subset of the data, but this time you, you can at least order this subset by a number of metrics. And Majestic does show a ton of information for each referring domain, such as crawled URLs, indexed URLs, external backlinks, and almost everything you could ever need. You can also switch between multiple views, which show even more data. As for Ahrefs, their referring domain support is not yet quite as data rich, but, and this is a big but, they give you the full list of referring domains to play with, not just a subset. And one crazily convenient feature is the ability to search. So if I wanted to check if the guys from Ahrefs have ever linked to me, I can just search for Ahrefs among my referring domains. And instantly, I see that I have 25 links from them, all do follow. That's something you cannot do in Majestic's interface, which is a pity. Moving on, Let's delve deeper into the quality of data, starting with something interesting I discovered when comparing the functionality of both tools. So, in Majestic, the domain sending the most inbound links to my website is digitalphilippines.net, which has almost 700,000 links to me. But when I search for that in Ahrefs, Ahrefs says they only link to me 17 times. So why does Majestic show almost 700,000 more backlinks? Well, I went ahead and exported all the backlinks I have from digitalphilippines.net using Majestic's advanced export feature. And it turns out they have the same linking pages I saw in Ahrefs, but those pages get duplicated 700,000 times because of UTM parameters. That leads to vastly inflated numbers. So while Ahrefs understands that versions of URLs with UTM parameters shouldn't be counted as unique referring pages, yeah, Majestic isn't so smart. And that makes its reports highly inaccurate and a nightmare to clean up. Lastly, let's compare the best by links reports in each tool. This is one of my favorite backlinks reports in Ahrefs. It shows all the pages on my website sorted by their respective backlink profiles. The reason why I like this report so much is because I can set the HTTP code filter to 200 and see which of my pages have generated the most backlinks. This is especially cool if you want to research your competitors and find out which of their web pages have generated the most backlinks and why. But here's another cool thing. I can set the HTTP code filter to 404 to find all the broken pages on my site that have backlinks. By restoring or redirecting these pages, I can preserve the valuable link juice that would otherwise be wasted. It's a simple hack, but a powerful hack. So what about the same report in Majestic? Well, nothing new. They still give you a subset of data and not all of it. And I don't have any filters or ordering options to play with. So I can only get practical value from the report if I export it all to Excel and dissect it there. There is an option to export only 404 pages, but this isn't particularly convenient. Plus, it's also based on a subset of data. Now, I could spend all day comparing the best tool tools, but as you can see, when it comes down to the very basic on-site functionality of Ahrefs and Majestic, it's clear who the winner is. And you should also bear in mind, Majestic is nothing but a backlink tool. While Ahrefs includes a bunch of other great tools like uh, a keyword research tool, a content research tool, a site audit tool, they have organic traffic data and much, much more. Um, in fact, you, you can learn how to use all of those tools to help increase your traffic in my dedicated Ahrefs tutorial on the blog. 
And if you are choosing between Ahrefs and Majestic at the moment, honestly, the choice is easy.